Emperor Harshavardhana, better known as Harshaw, lived from 590 to 647 CE and was the third ruler of the Vardhana Empire, the last great empire in ancient India before the Islamic invasion. He ruled from 606 CE to 647 CE. After Harshavardhana's death, however, the Vardhana dynasty came to an end and its empire dissolved. History of Vardhana Empire The Vardhana dynasty was started by Prabhakara Navardhana who ruled the kingdom of Thanesh War, modern-day Haryana. Prabhakarana's queen Yasavati gave birth to two sons Rajyavardhana and Harshavardhana and a daughter named Rajyashri. Sasaka, king of Gorda, modern-day Bengal, marched and killed King Gravamana, Rajyashri's husband, and then kidnapped her. The kidnapping of his sister forced the elder Vardhana brother to march east and confront Sasaka. Sasaka then invited Rajyavardhana for a meeting and treacherously killed him. After his brother's death, at the age of 16, Harshavardhana became the undisputed ruler of Thanesh War and declared war on Sasaka to avenge his brother and embarked upon a campaign to conquer the India. Yet, his foremost enemy was now Sasaka who had to face an angry brother's wrath. Harsho issued a proclamation to all kings known to either declare allegiance to him or face him on the battlefield. As Sasaka's enemies responded to Harshaw's call, he marched on to Kanyu Aj. Harshavardhan rescuing his sister, he rejoined his army at the bank of Ganges. After this, Harshaw easily conquered Kanauj as Sasaka went back to Bengal, and thus began a long enmity. It was only after Sasaka's death that Harshaw was able to control entire eastern India including Magadha, Bengal, and Kalinga. Harshaw's the conquest of the India had now begun. After Kanauj, he turned his attention towards Gujarat. He defeated the local Vallabhi kingdom and expanded his empire. Yet, this rapid expansion led to tensions between him and the Chalukya king Pulakas in the second. It was now that the most powerful kingdoms of northern and southern India came face to face on the battlefield on the banks of River Narmada. In the end, the southerners under the able leadership of Pulakas in two prevailed leaving the ambitious northern ruler, Harshaw, defeated. They say Harshaw lost his cheer when he saw his elephants dying in the battle. Harshaw entered a peace treaty with the Chalukya king, which established Narmada River as the southern boundary of his empire and after that he never advanced south again. Yet, this did not halt his conquest of the north. He took the title of Lord of Northern India. The Vardhanu Empire consisted of two distinctive types of territories, areas directly under Harshaw's rule such as central provinces, Gujarat, Bengal, Kalinga, Rajputana, and the states and kingdoms which had become feudatories under him including Jalandhar, Kashmir, Nepal, Sind, Assam. Art and Education Harshaw was a patron of both art and education. He himself was an author and wrote three Sanskrit plays, Nagananda, Ratnavali, Priyadarshika. One fourth of his revenue went for patronizing scholars. Hai Sang gives a quite vivid description of the famous Nalanda University which was at its zenith during Harshaw's reign. In its heyday, Nalanda had around 10,000 students and 2,000 teachers. The curriculum included Vedas, Buddhism, philosophy, logic, urban planning, medicine, law and astronomy. Society and Religion Harshaw was a worshipper of Shiva in the beginning but later became a Mahayana Buddhist. Mahayana Buddhism, Harshaw arranged at Kanauj a great assembly which was presided over by Hai Sang. Hai Sang took a lot of manuscripts to China and translated more than 600 of them from Sanskrit. Death and Legacy Harshaw died in 647 AD, and the empire with him. As a result, Arjuna, one of the chief ministers took up the thrones. Later in 648 CE, Arjuna was captured and held prisoner in an attack by the Tibetans.